selfish, selfish, selfish. So when they say selfish, what does selfish actually mean? What's the definition of selfish? There are two words that, are, that I believe people don't pay attention to. Selfish, self-centered. I used to tell a lot of people around me that everyone is selfish. One way or the other. Selfish and self-centered. But people don't actually believe because they are not looking at the details. They are not looking at the intention of human. People sometimes often think they know and understand human beings without understanding human beings clearly. So, are you a selfish person? What's the definition of selfish if we are to probably look at it holistically? Or oh, according to the unanimous decision on the definition of what selfish is all about. Selfish is defined as something of the person, action, or motive lacking consideration for all the people consigned chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure. One's own personal profit or pleasure. That's what selfish is defined as. So a lot of people used to have this question. Are you selfish? And the other ones will say, no, I'm not. But in the actual sense, every human being, both animal and plants and every creation that are called living things or known as living things are all selfish. But let's pick human beings, for instance. Human beings will believe that they are not selfish. You, have you ever considered, even we that are giving birth to these days, have you ever considered and asked yourself this question? For everyone who lives on this earth, who have ever given birth, have you ever asked yourself this question? Why do my children need me? Needs is what brings selfishness. The human need is what people pay attention to. And that is why human beings are selfish. Needs brings selfishness. If your children, have you ever asked yourself this question? Like if your children do not actually need you for any reasons, will they actually want you around? People will say, I love my mother, I love my father. It is still based on human need. If a human being can live in isolation of every other thing on earth and survive, they will not actually need anything. The main reason why people sometimes relate is out of boredom, out of needs. So you want to have a girlfriend or get married. It is because you need a woman. If a man can give birth by himself, by self impregnate itself or himself, if a woman too can do the same thing, I don't think a woman will ever need a man. I don't think a man will ever need a, a woman. For socialization is why we want to live among our peers among people who reason the same like us, who speak the same language, for reasons best known to uh, everyone, based on need, is why people travel out abroad. So when you see a lot of people rushing abroad now, they are calling them Japanese or Japa people. Why are they Japa? Why are they Japa? It's because they needed money. If Naira is equal to euros, pounds sterling, or dollars, or whatever country Nigerians find themselves, nobody will travel out. That's the truth. Let's not come to the religion and relating to human. Why do people worship one so-called deity known as God? Why do they actually, even the people who invented religion, they invented it for selfish reasons. The people who invented religion, who invented religion they did not invent religion for the sake of anyone. So people who worship God today, why are they worshiping God? Because they don't want to go to air fire. But before we come there, they are worshiping God because they believe they can provide for their needs. They can be their protection. They can build their shield. They can hide under his umbrella or whatever. Whatever excuses human beings give to each other for worshiping God. But the real reason, even people who now have that needs, they were without to live lavishly, extravagantly. Why do they still want to worship God? They have been indoctrinated to believe that at the end of their days, by the time they die, they might end up in heaven or, or hell. If creation doesn't have that belief system of what heaven and hell should be like, 
why should they even believe in one God? Do you think anybody will believe in God? Do you actually think that? So what would you call that act? A selfish act. When you are protecting your chicken, when you are rearing chicken, you are rearing chicken for two reasons. Every rearer of animals, rear them for two reasons. For money or for consumption. Nothing more. Whether you rear your goats so that you can use, use them to fight or people who use chicken to fight, like in Mexico or some South American countries, they use their chicken, their hen, to fight. Whether you are rearing that, it's still based on money. Money, consumption, pride or whatever. Every reason why human beings exist today is selfish. That is why selfishness is defined as lacking consideration for others, lacking consideration for others, consigned chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure. So what about self-centered? So when we say self-centered, what does self-centered actually mean? Self-centered is only defined as preoccupied with oneself and one's affair. So self-centered is totally actually related to being selfish. Self-centered, you're not you are you in self-centered, you're not even thinking of any other person, you are just preoccupied with yourself. It's only me, me. And those are the set of politicians we have in Nigeria. Self-centered people. And some of our politicians are also called selfish. So people who are egocentric, you know, egotistic. Uh, people who are egotistically, egomaniacal, self-regarding, those are the self-centered people. People who only think of self alone, just me and me alone. They are the ones who are called self-centered. And we also have selfish people among our people too, who don't give consideration to others, who consign themselves chiefly with their own personal profit and pleasure. So by this definition of what selfish and self-centered is, look into yourself. Do you think you're selfish? That boyfriend that you are trying to have, that girlfriend you are lost in to have, why do you actually need them? Do you need them because you actually want them or because you need them? If everything is based on want and need, it's still for selfish reasons. The only thing that is not selfish is someone, the only set of people that are not selfish is someone who is giving you something without expecting anything. No thank you, no accolade, no uh, reciprocation gesture, no no uh, appraiser, no form of any appraiser being needed from you. Those are the people who are not selfish. If you are not that type of a person, which I find out to believe that there's anyone on earth who exists today, who are that type, who is that type of a person. That means by default, every one of us are selfish and the people who step him up are completely self-centered people.